for the greater glory of God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today on the third day, we are going through the third article of the 1978 Secular Franciscan Order Rule. The third article is as follows. The present rule succeeding memoriale propositi of the year 1221 and the rules approved by the Supreme Pontiffs Nicholas IV and Leo XIII adapts the secular Franciscan order to the needs and expectations of the Holy Church in the conditions of changing times. Its interpretation belongs to the Holy See and its application will be made by the general constitutions and particular statutes. As mentioned in the third article, the rules approved by the Supreme Pontiffs are the Memoriale Propositi of the year 1221. This was probably written by Cardinal Ugolino, who becomes Pope Gregory IX. It has eight chapters in it. The next rule is Supramundum, which means the highest mountain by Pope Nicholas IV in the year 1289. In fact, this rule is a rework of Memoriale Propositi by a friar Cairo. The friar was from Florence. He was the person who reworked Memoriale Propositi and we got Supramundum with 20 chapters. The third rule, Misericordiae de Filius, by Pope Leo the Thirteenth of the year 1883, with three chapters. The term chapter denotes a certain set of articles which has something in common to be expressed. And finally, we have the present rule of Pope Paul VI which we have and which we are expected to follow. Prior to these rules, we had the letters to the faithful, the first and the second letters to the faithful, which were probably written by Francis and they also form part of Franciscan documents which are yet another part of the whole corpus of Franciscan writings. As for Francis, the rule that he composed first was of 1209, which got an oral recognition from Innocent III, when 12 of the then Franciscan brothers met Innocent III in the Lateran Basilica. Now, one thing what we have to know is, for Francis, everything was the Holy Gospel. Everything was contained within the Bible, the New Testament, the Old Testament, and all of it. So, Francis was following the scriptures. And for Francis, there were two special things that led to all of his things in the world. Whatever he did, the one was the simple, humble nature of the Trinity, who becomes a child, an incapacitated and poor child who is born in Bethlehem. And the other symbol was of the crucifix, the great God who became human being who suffered for us. There was nothing else for Francis other than the poor child of Bethlehem or 
the Jesus in Calvary. And his rules were contained within the books of the Bible, particularly the Gospels. When we talk of the rule, and when we particularly mention, as in the third article, the secular Franciscan order to the needs and expectations of the Holy Church in the conditions of changing times. What are the needs and expectations of the Holy Church? It is nothing less than each of its member becoming a saint. You and I are called to be saints and nothing less than that. And the interpretation belongs to the Holy See and its application are with the general constitutions. We know the 26 rules or the 26 articles of the present rule of 1978 have one not three general constitutions within. So the first, second and third article forms the first chapter of the present rule. Let us pray that even for us, like Francis, what we will have as our rule will be the child in Bethlehem and the crucifix. And the book we will have is the Bible with particular emphasis on the Gospels. Thank you.